Hello everyone, and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time we caught up with the FPC in the Sheriff's Station in Bright Falls, who had managed to capture Alan Wake, along with some of the cult members. Actually, the head of the cult members. Um, Ilwa and uh, Yako Koskela. Um, but we also found out that the Taken had kind of overrun the uh, Sheriff's Station as well, so we had to... Uh, help out the FBC agent uh, Estevez and our partner Alex Casey was actually in the morgue when we found out that Alan Wake was held in the prison uh, like in the cell we went there uh, and he was basically next to a cell with uh, the, Sk the Koskela brothers they told us not to trust him we were about to give him the clicker and we find out that Alan was in fact Mr. Scratch all along we don't know. We had a little fight, a little tete-a-tete -tete with uh, Mr. Scratch, and we came out on the victorious side. And we kind of started comparing notes with the FBC agent and with Alex, who still maintains that Logan is dead. Oh, and one other thing. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention. Mr. Scratch sadly killed Yako, the brother of Ilmo. So we will probably not be seeing any more of the uh, the the hilarious uh, ads that they have for whatever, whether it's like the the coffee or the coffee land or or whatever. Regardless, let's continue on. So I actually forgot what our lead was. Because we still have the clicker, and we still have to find the real Alan, uh, who's presumably still stuck somewhere in the dark place. I was about to say the dark side. The dark side of the dark place. The darker side. It's like the dark side of the moon, but it's the dark side of the dark place. Okay, so, what is our objective? Examine the files in Alexa. Right, that's what we're going to do. Before we go in there, let's see if there's anything worth picking up around here. Ugh. It's a lot of blued. Oh, I'm, I'm getting blood every... I'm sorry. Just... Ugh. Once I get it on you, you know, it's hard to get it off. Anything where he was sitting, at least? You know, you guys could probably keep a little... Uh, you can maintain your... You're building a little bit better than this. <sighs> okay, so we're going to be looking at the FBC's files. The cult didn't trust Wake. Or is it Scratch? So the transcript of an interview with the subject Alan Wake, suspected para-utilitarian. I mean, he's not suspected, it's... He's a fucking para-utilitarian. Um, for those of you that don't know, that's a, a control term from the game Control. Um, it basically means someone who has uh, abilities that can alter world objects. Uh, basically, they can, they can change. They, they have supernatural abilities. That, that's what periutilitary means. Like us. Because we have our mind my, our mind place. I was about to say mind palace, but it's mind place. Anyways. Location. Bright Falls, Washington. Uh, interviewer. Kieran Estevez, lead agent. Kieran, Mr. Wake, you have been taken into FBC custody and will receive an in-depth interrogation at a later date. But for now, I need to ask if there's anything you could tell us about regarding the incident at the hotel. Anything we may need to know. So the hotel... Actually... Now that's interesting. Because we went through the hotel as Alan. But that was in the dark place. So did it just basically mirror what happened in the real world? Or is it just an entirely different interest incident altogether? Alan, there's a force here you don't understand. A presence. It's after me. 
It wants to consume me. Consume everything. Yes, you mentioned this dark presence before. Why does it want you? It feeds on artists, on the art they create. It wants me because of my writing. But it can be any form of art, any artistic expression. Music, painting, film, photography, it can feed on any of it. All of it. You have to believe me. We are well aware of this entity, Mr. Wake. We've been tracking the situation here for a long time now. You yourself have been on our radar for over a decade. I'm sure those nuts in the research department are just going to love checking you out. Hey, make a note to redact that before submission. Let's get back on track. You mentioned a light switch earlier. Where is it now? I don't know, but I need it. I can't end this without it. Will you help me get it? Mr. Wake, you're in custody, pending charges for breaching of numerous federal violation codes. Uh, we're not going to give you a suspected paranatural object. You're not fucking listening to me. We are listening just fine. Now, do you have any accomplices? Expletive you. Let me the expletive out of here. It's coming for me. We're all in danger. Interview was terminated due to the subject being uncooperative. I mean, yeah. Wake isn't the first person the Dark Presence disguised itself as. Report Supplement. The Shadow. Summary. Through extensive interviews with witnesses of AWE-35, additional details regarding the Shadow A-010 have been discovered. So AWE-35, I believe, was the original incident in Bright Falls. Um, like the first game, basically. Redacted and redacted, both present during the AWE, reported seeing a woman named Barbara Jagger in Bright Falls at the time. Jagger is a former actress and Bright Falls resident who emigrated with the filmmaker Thomas Zane from Finland and was reported to have drowned in Cauldron Lake during a redacted AWE in 1975. Research staff have concluded that Jagger's appearance is likely a case of the shadow manifesting in human form. Research is ongoing as to the nature of the connection between the shadow and the psychophysical signatures available for it to mimic. Current hypotheses are A. The shadow can only manifest as artists or individuals tangentially involved in the creation of art who have operated within a certain physical range of Cauldron Lake. B. The shadow can manifest as any individual contained definition needed within Cauldron Lake. Research is actively ongoing. I would think it's probably... The second? But who knows, right? Who really knows? The lake is a gateway to the dark place. Deployment order. Urgent. Situation. At approximately 1900 hours and 13 September 2023, readings from a remote surveillance unit monitoring Cauldron Lake, a known threshold, to what researchers theorize is the origin of dimension A-040, the shadow, past acceptable limits. Attempts to contact FBC research facility WA-03, codenamed the Lake House, were unsuccessful. On-site event verification is not possible. Response procedures are initiated with immediate effect. Lead agent K. Estevez will mobilize investigation unit beta from the remote operation site at Redacted. All available shadow-specific equipment, lot 4-11B, has been approved for use in the field. Objectives. To confirm an active event. If an active AWE is occurring, the dispatch team will identify its nature and severity, limit exposure, and attempt to contain or neutralize the source. If no event is active, check monitoring equipment. Perform a limited profile sweep of the area. Check status of the lake house and its staff. Additional information. Relevant operatives in the area include the Cult of the Tree, Redacted, and Alan Wake, currently missing. I wonder if Redacted is us. Like it's FBI or Saga Anderson. Oh, uh, I missed one document. What the hell is a para utilitarian? <laughs> Item class request. Summary of findings, description, para-utility. Based on reports, the item is a light switch from a lamp cord, with part of the severed cord still attached. Eyewitness accounts suggest that the item possesses the ability to alter reality, and changes being based on redacted, when used by capable para-utilitarian. 
parsing this item's effect from that of Cauldron Lake, threshold responsible for uh, recurring AWEs in the area, is difficult because the only reported uses of the item have occurred near this threshold. Without more data, we cannot confirm if the item intensifies the effect of the threshold or vice versa, or if there is no connection whatsoever. I mean, there's definitely a fucking connection. Recorded, from, uh, recorded material from Dr. Hartman after becoming a redacted have revealed that Alan Wake eliminated Barbara Jagger, likely a physical manifestation of a redacted, by inserting the light switch into its chest and flicking the switch. The item is confirmed to have been used in 2010 to turn fictional writing into reality. See file AWE-35. However, it's unclear what the restrictions and limitations of this effect are. Conclusion. The light switch is a possible object of power, but the team cannot conclusively classify the item based on secondhand accounts. Proper examination and testing is required in order to determine classification and precise effect of the item. All right. <coughs> <coughs> So let's check out the case board here. So the dark presence feeds on, on artists and the art they produce. Uh, I'm guessing that's up here. Yeah. It's not just writing. Music, painting, film, photography, any artic artistic expression can feed it. I mean, that's a little bit abstract though, isn't it? What if I just draw like a stick figure or something? Would that classify as art? Would that would that technically feed it? Anything we do, like swagger, like the way we walk, technically that's an artistic expression of oneself. It's just very abstract. Uh, what is this FPC file on the clicker and its paranatural qualities? Uh, on on the clicker, uh, right up here, I guess. Huh. The clicker amplifies any changes to reality suggested by a piece of art. Makes them permanent. So a light switch with supernatural powers must be used with art to amplify reality changing effects. The FBC speculates that the clicker can only be used by a capable para-utilitarian. So... I mean, it, it can be... One would ask... How Alan even got hold of the clicker. Like, I know he says that his mom gave it to him. But how would his mom know that that thing would work? Or does it work because Alan's a para-utilitarian? Like, because Alan has abilities, is that why it works? Like, he gave it power, he passed it on to it? Wake and the clicker. All right, so FPC file in Cauldron Lake, threshold to another reality. Um, so Wake's in the dark place, and Cauldron's... Sorry, Cauldron Lake is a threshold to it. FPC file, dark presence assumed the form of Barbara Jagger. Oh, um... I don't know. Scratch your wake, I guess. I need to know what information I can still trust. So Scratch pretended to be wake. Used us. For how long? The whole time? Can anything wake said be trusted? So this isn't the first time the Dark Presence has stolen someone's form. So is the clicker still useful? A PC file on capabilities of light switch object, the clicker. According to the file, Wake has used the clicker to change reality before. Uh, Tor. Trusting Wake. Okay. Wake told me the clicker would fix this. But Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up, and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker 
to make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the Clicker was true. He wasn't lying. And we still haven't unlocked this stuff. I'm just going to take a quick look around, see if there's anything of use out here. <laughs> it's people taking photos and shit. Okay, literally nothing of use out here. Let's head back and talk. See if there's anything to say. Know anything about the clicker? Scratch told me the clicker can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item, maybe even an object of power. We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. It definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do. Turns out the cult was fighting Taken. So the cult of the tree actually kills Taken. They were on our side, even if their methods are misguided and criminal. It looked right from where we were standing. Nothing's what it seems in this case. Too many stories contradicting each other. Yeah. Too many versions of the truth. Or non-truth. Can't wait to put this case behind us. We have us. a lot of catching up to do after this thing is all over. Everything is different now. My family, me, the whole fucking world. I'll buy the coffee, Anderson. Partners to the end. This case is one for the books. I see what you did there. I don't get it. Uh, I think I read this, right? Yeah, I've read this. So I've got the clues. Do I need to go in my mind place again and, and do some more head tinkering? I'm so sorry, Yoko. An electrical lock system with no fail safe. Smart. Okay. Ooh. Oh yes, please. Oh, oh baby, oh baby. I didn't do that. That was the door. Anything else you want to see? I'm gonna deal with the situation, Elmo. But the town will need protection until we sort this out. I could use your help. Right. Right. I'll round up the gang. Whoever's left. We won't let these fucking monsters hurt any more of our people. We'll do my brother proud. Thank you, Ilmo. Good idea. Round up the townsfolk and put them all in danger. My brother. Okay, so... What did we add here? The wake and the clicker. With an electronic system at, like this, you'd think they'd at least have a backup generator. Oh well. Oh, this from before. Gotcha. The FPC identified the clicker as a paranatural item. They believe it has power. 
The clicker can fix this, but I can't use it without Wake. So the clicker is still about this stuff. Maybe he can help. Clicker is still the best option. Need Wake's help to write the ending and change reality. The NPC is confident. The clicker has power. But can that power help us or just the scratch? Um Yeah. Tor! Help me, Tor! Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams. From the fever of dreams. Nothing's what it seems. can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. But how can you do that? Because it only responds to artistic stuff. Are you gonna draw a picture of Wake rising out of the lake? So, the clicker can be used by anyone so long as the holder believes in the power of the art's message. I will use the clicker to change reality and bring Wake back at Cauldron Lake. I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. We'll try using Clicker or Cauldron Lake to pull Wake out of the dark place. Wake wrote the story, so I need him to change the ending, but I can use Clicker to change something else. Okay. Uh, and I think that's... I've got it now. Good. I just need to tell the others what to do and fix everything for good. Oh, I have to tell her. So we need Wake to fix the story, right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place, under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. I wouldn't know where to start. But I'm sold. Okay. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. You sure you have it all figured out? This is the beginning of the end game. To travel to Cauldron Lake, you need to save your game first. Exploring and traveling to other areas will be limited if you choose to continue. Uh, oh. Not yet. Not just yet. Give me a moment. Okay, Anderson. You let me know when you're ready. Hello. Oh my god, that is some horrible hair you've got. Okay. Um... All right, what I'm thinking is I'm going to try and backtrack to some areas that still have um, items. Uh, potential items. So there's still a locked door here. There's a locked door there. Um... Yeah, you know, let's let's do this stuff. Let's kind of Yeah, let's let's take care of this stuff first. I can't get through this. Okay. 
So what's the point of that if we can't get through it? Oh, okay. We missed a nursery rhyme back at the witch finder station. Oh, that's going to be a bitch to go to. Oh, a manuscript page. After getting his hands on the FBC files, Ilmo Koskalan knew what he was up against. He masterminded the cult, his and Yako's army, to fight the fucked up horror lurking under the lake, and a plan to keep those feds in their bunker by the lake in the dark. Outsiders would only screw things up. The Koskalas sabotaged the FBC's monitoring station and rigged it to alert them when something was brewing at the lake. One time months later, when the alarm rang, they drove to the lake again ready for a fight. But this time, they didn't find any monsters. Something else washed ashore. The light switch. They'd read how Wake had stopped Jagger with it in the stolen files. From that point on, whenever the cult caught someone taken over by the shadow, they cut out the monster's heart, pushed the switch into the hole, and flicked it. Okay, so I'm going to drive to the woods. Um, yeah, Cauldron Lake. And I'm going to pick up the... Well, not pick up. Find the last couple of things. Um, there was a nursery rhyme and a, screw, a box with a screwdriver. I'm pretty sure I remember which one it is. It's like one of those lampposts um, that had a lock on it. There's also a container I missed, it looks like. It's going to be all manner of monsters in here. At this point. Um, okay, where am I in relation? Oh my god, I'm all the way there. And I have to go all the way there. How did I miss that? What is that? Well, it doesn't highlight, which means it's nothing, I guess. Oh, and there's a cult stash there I missed. Um... Can I not go that way then? Okay, anyways, I'll I'll come back to whenever I find something. Oh, cool. So I guess I haven't been here yet. So this is the um, the rental cabins area. I don't know how I haven't been here yet. But hey, somewhere new. And we gotta be very careful. Day one, some weird animal tried to break into our clubhouse. It was scary. Max hit it off with a... Uh, Max hit it off a big stick and it ran away. I think it was a squirrel before. Day three, our uh, candy sash has gone missing. Maybe it was a squirrel. Day six, Max found candy wrappers in the woods. There were some big poops there. It wasn't the squirrel. Day seven, Max has gone missing. Beware the wicked witch rules. One person is the wicked witch. Everyone else has to run and hide. When the witch says beware me... Everyone has to change places. 
If you go to someone else's hiding place, you can tag them to kill them. Don't get tagged and killed. If the Wicked Witch finds you, you're dead. If you find the witch's lair, she's caught. Burn the witch. Why do I have a feeling that we're going to fight something like this? Please be nice. Please be fucking nice. We like nice, we like gentle. Property seizure notice. Cauldron Lake, all right. Animals stayed away from the water's edge as if to avoid some unseen submerged predator waiting just below the dark surface. They never drank the water from the lake. Birds flew around it, never over. Darkness flowed from Cauldron Lake. Gaze in the black mirror of the lake. You'd see it all around you, and you'd understand. It was already out, already where you were. It was already too late. Cauldron Lake used to be alive with people. Beautiful forests, hiking trails leading to stunning vistas. Then the government put up a fence, kept the people out. Volcanic gas, they said. They didn't want anyone knowing the truth. The lake wasn't a lake at all. It was the an ocean. The water, a mask to hide the hungry, bottomless ocean below. A fence couldn't stop the flood that was coming. Nothing could. The return of the nightmare rising from the depths. I have no idea. So the window... Is this meant to be a Wizard of Oz thing? You know what? Funnily enough, I have never seen Wizard of Oz. I'm a, I consider myself a movie buff. I've never seen Wizard of Oz. I've seen the sequel. Uh, well, sequel. The first sequel, Return to Oz. Which fucked up my childhood, but that's another story. Okay. Um, and are we looking for symbols? Or are we looking for numbers? We're looking for a key. So why are there numbers I don't get this okay first we need a window a tornado and what looks like a sand castle
Hmm. Could this mer? Well, it's not a merry-go-round. I, I don't really know what this called. But could this be considered the tornado? Because it goes in a circle, right? Oh. I think there's a lunchbox Can't in here be somewhere. Opened on this side. Another one of those lunch boxes. Iron fragments. His hair was longer than I remembered, blowing gently in the cool night breeze. I put my hand to his cheek to confirm that he was indeed real. And he was. He was real. Feeling his handsome beard, wild but neatly trimmed, beneath my fingers proved it. You're back, I breathed. Yes, I'm back. I wasn't cold any longer. Oh, you and your Alan Wake fantasies. You're too good for Alice Wake. You're too good. Would this be the tornado? Maybe? Perhaps? Possibly? I'm gonna have to go all the way around. Oh, this was the first area. Alright, alright. Can I get up to the rental cabins from here? Does not look like it. Okay, so it has to be... It has to be around that tree, because it ended by the tree. Maybe I have to go behind? Or maybe there's more past the tree. Oh, here we go. I honestly have no idea what this means. I'm just gonna walk around until I see a key. Cannot. There is some furniture blocking the way. Those rhymes. Birds watching you like in that movie, but protective, not attacking. Mythical inspiration, guardian spirits, Norse mythology or ancient Egyptian. 
Corvus Coraxum, the family Corvidae. Research symbolism and uses. Elements. Stalking monster, watchful birds. Stakes can't be too high for both risk management and fruitful outcomes. Make sure the rhyming is looser this time. Need to test this approach for possibly more ambiguous interpre interpretational results. Okay. So, I'm not going to do this rhyme just yet. I'm going to try and find the key first. Um, mainly because, historically, uh, there's fights that happen... It doesn't hurt to try all of them. So that's where we can drop down. Truck has seen better days. Or maybe the rhyme will give me the key. There is that too. Okay, I believe I got a manuscript page earlier. Let me look at that first. Um, oh, did I not get one? Never mind. Thought I did. Uh, okay, might as well put these up real quick. Another piece of fan fiction. Whoever's writing these is obviously having a good time. Note about the style and content of the rhymes. Whoops. Why? Seems to be left by the author of the rhymes, workshopping the style. Story, still can't do anything. Cult of the tree. Whenever the cult caught someone taken over by the shadow, they cut out the monster's heart, push the switch into the hole, hmm. and flicked it. How do they figure out how to use it? Trial and error? Purpose of the cult ritual was to kill Taken. So it looks like I'm actually done with this. It's case closed for this one. Okay. <sighs> Alright, let's do this one. Our hero courageous and true, stalked by the monster hatching through. The clever crows caw their warning and keep an eye on the battle forming. When the fight is done and over, the hero and the crows reap the rewards left for her. So stalked by the monster hatching through. That's a monster. Oh, 
Go doll. Goes there maybe. Or maybe so. And then Maiden? No. Nope. That's not right. Nah. Oh. Hmm. So I'm Missing something. Oh, a crow. Doi. Maiden. And I'm guessing this is where the hero goes. Keep trying. An idiot. So monster, crow, and hero maybe. Think saga. Yes. There we go. Okay. Oh, I ran out of space. Um, I mean, might as well. A charm for my bracelet. So this guy came out of here, which is where we needed to go. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Oh. This is the first one with the bedroom. Or big bathroom, rather. Please tell me the key's back here. Ah. Can't forget the dolls. Might need them again. Don't worry, I'm forgotten. Fuck. I, I hate doing this, but I'm actually going to look up the result, the answer for the cult stash, because I have no idea what to make of that, that clue that was left. Okay. Yeah, so I was basically right. Um, it was, it was drawn by like a child, so it's kind of seen through the eyes of a child. So apparently the key should be around here somewhere.
Maybe not. Down there, right? Oh god, are they coming up? They are coming up. Fuck. Oh, it's right here. Six, two. So the key should be here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, I, I would have had such a hard time finding that. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Nope, we can't. Oh, is that FPC? I just realized that. Oh my god, will you fucking die, please? Let's use this up. Okay, this one was actually pretty fun. Much better than the math tests. Sure, if you say so. Oh, that reminds me actually. We have enough to upgrade a weapon. Uh, which one do we want though? I mean, this one's pretty good. Yeah. Saga stood still, emptying her mind, focusing, breathing in, breathing out. She aimed the rifle, ready for the kill shot. Very nice, very nice. I don't like the sound of that. Let's just keep going. Uh, okay. So, I got a while to go. Locked door, that's fine point of interest. I don't know why there's a point of interest there. <sighs> Fuck. 
Oh. Pride Falls Bookstore Raffle Bonanza. Anyway, okay. Uh, I don't know if something's chasing me. Uh, just pause and read this. It's the same thing. And this one. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm definitely being chased there. Okay, I'm gonna go back the way I came. Uh, that is not the way I came. So now, I got a long way to go to get over here. So, uh, I'm just going to cut there. Yeah. Okay, so... Got here. Are they fighting each other? Oh, that guy's running away. Okay, so that one's down. This one here, which also... Screwdriver. Lovely. We'll just make our way up here. The Witchfinder Station. This is the one, right? Yeah. I don't know how we haven't done this one before. So the hero brave and strong left home to right or wrong. From the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. Hero returned to find she'd lost the thing she loved most. Uh, 
So hero, I guess left. And the wolf. Yes. Uh guess we're going inside. Okay then. The fuck? Oh, I can't get it because I'm my items are full. Yeah, this one I've gotten already. Cult stashes. This was a cauldron lake. It's the last one there. Found all the cauldron lake area cult stashes. This was just sitting sitting in a random bathroom. Pretty random. Oh, oops. Uh, Ryan found found outside the cauldron lake ranger cabin. So the hero of the Rhyme left her child unprotected. Rhyme found at a central cabin. In the Rhyme, the hero was aided by two crows. They shared the reward together. So I'm still missing, like, quite a bit, actually. So I'm missing one, two, three, four, and five. Alright, well, I don't know where I'm missing one. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go... I'm going to go back to the rental cabin. I'm going to see if I can... Um, yeah, I'm going to see if I can play as Alan. Uh, but I'm going to cut it. I'm going to stop it here for this episode. Um, what I'll do is like behind, like um, off camera, I'll make my way back and we'll start the next episode uh, at the janitor bucket and see what happens when we switch over to Alan. Because I'm not going to spend any more time you know, going through this stuff as Saga. There's, there's... There's, there's no real point, I don't think. I think it's just trophy hunting at that point. I doubt we'd really get any actual story context out of it. Um, and hey, who knows? I might do a new game plus at some point. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.